So I'm here at 2000 Trees on the Thursday with the stats. Did I get that correct? You got it. Yeah. Got it, man. With Rocco and Tor. Tor, yeah. Uh, see, uh, my pronunciation is uh, okay. It's all good. Nobody it's knows good. how to say my name. <laughs> <laughs> but how are you guys finding 2000 Trees so far? Well, we've seen the grass over here, we've seen <laughs> yeah. the white tent over there, and that's basically all we've seen so far. But we've been here, we've been here two once years before. Ago. Two once years. before. Two years ago. So it's great to be back, I suppose. It's oh, yeah, man. It's, uh, we love it. Yeah. A lot of people with tattoos. Yes, definitely. Yeah, it's Tons. It's yeah. a, definitely a really good atmosphere around there, especially with the great weather as well. Hey, well it's on, on English, like. Yeah, I, I mean, um, I was saying earlier, actually, the uh, the British weather, it can either be pissing it down or it can be sunny as like uh-huh, this. So uh-huh. some, it's, some people say the same about Dutch weather, where yeah. we are from. We are from the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Oh, it's man. Good weather over there? Sometimes. It can be pissing, it can be uh, sunny. Yeah. <laughs> say it was better there. Exactly. So you're saying you're from the, you're from the Netherlands? It's quite qu- quite clear. Um, but of course, over here in Britain, you've had quite a large audience as well, especially from one of your latest singles, Kitty Kitty, which was used as a British advertising campaign. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah, I don't it, really good because re, I really love the channel they use it for. Uh, was it Adult Swim, right? Uh, all four, I believe. I think, yeah, it's for the yeah. Adult Swim section. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, that was because I really think they have a lot of funny stuff on there. So, uh, so that was fine. But, th- I don't know. I'm not, I don't live here. So, did a lot of people see it or hear it, do you think? Uh, yeah, it was, it was used a lot. So, I would assume so. But, uh, I'm guessing that the reception is great to have it from another country that isn't just the Netherlands. It's always good, man. I love it when our music is used for that kind of stuff. Yeah, and uh, it comes from your latest album, which was uh, released in January, Bubblegum. Nice. We uh, don't even know that yeah we didn't even know <laughs> well uh, I was gonna ask uh, what kind of spurred the name of bubblegum for your album title? the name um, well I was kind of I was obsessed with being in a bubble as I feel like a lot of people are in their own specific bubble and their own echo chamber if you will so I noticed that a lot of songs were about that about being in a bubble so that's where the title bubble gum came from like a chewy mass of songs about being in a bubble in a personal way or sometimes in a political or yeah political way so uh, so that's why the album is called bubble gum and <laughs> and the latest single from that that you've released as a single is tie me down yeah um, man you know your stuff yeah, yeah i did my research I, yeah, i've been i've you. actually listened to tie me down this morning and i ah. love it it's yeah. probably one of my favorites from the album nice. uh, do you guys have a favorite from the album um you know they always compare it to uh, do you have a favorite child yeah you know? it is like picking I, a favorite it kind child. of feels that way but i always have you can like the, the children we have which are very noticeable and kind of weird i always like the best like i think kitty kitty is one of those songs we've never made a song like kitty kitty before yeah, same goes like for a track called phoenix okay um this is a couple of songs on the record that are very extreme i guess and does not think of make us think of anything we've done before so i think those probably are my favorites right now but sometimes you know when we start playing a song we haven't played for a long time i think Oh, this is actually a lot of fun to do, so it changes, you know. Rocco, do you have a similar... Uh, you say, well, I, I always like Level Up because of the the, the, the jumpiness and and the, but like the, the very rigid staccato uh, verses and chorus, uh, robot-like, and then suddenly the open... Uh, very yeah we have a we have a, a theme park in uh, in Holland okay. it's called the Efteling and it's like uh, it's all about dream dream worlds like Fata Morgana and uh, it feels like that you know just floating in the air and then suddenly bam back to the robot world we're living right now man because ah. robots are real man robots are real <laughs> well I'm gonna switch the question around a little bit now which one was the hardest one to produce and which one is sort of the least Reduce. favorite hmm. well tie me down was pretty was a pretty long process it had it had i think we also played we played it live in in the end of 2017 and it was a totally different version than it was now uh then uh, Tore and tessa uh, luton uh, the, the the singer uh, they switched it up and now it is this the the, the, the amazing monster of a hit that it is now 
so maybe that one or also Kitty Kitty was a long process but we 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 kind of knew very fast like all right well we got something here you know bam let's go this direction you know uh, yeah, I understand completely. <laughs> um, so, so as you say, um, as sort of it's kind of known, uh, you started this off as a one-man group, and then it eventually the band came along. What kind of spurred you to become a band and not just start off as a continue as a one-man project? Well, I I just I was making songs, but I always had. I always wanted it to sound like a band when I was making the record and I wasn't really thinking about what it's going to be, is it going to be a band, I was just make, trying to make an album that sounds like one thing, uh, just as an experiment for me because I, I was making a lot of different kinds of stuff but ne never really something that was truly mine, at least that's the feeling I had so, but I, at the time I was already playing with some of the guys that are in the band right now, right now. Uh, so, right now. Uh, yeah, so right. Rocco, Rocco was one of them, but I was just making those songs by myself, and as I was finishing the record, it was it became kind of clear that the songs were pretty good, and I kind of wanted to follow uh, where that was going, so I just asked some of the guys I, were, I was already playing with to join me in the new band called The Start, and uh, we're still together after 12 years yes 12 years it's a yes, long time we're, old, we're old. We're old. older we're older almost we're old. died we're older. dead <laughs> well <laughs> thank you very much for coming along and good luck in your set tonight i'm hoping that cheers. i can catch it cheers yeah, mate. maybe we die tonight I, we well you? i hope not because it's still got still got a while i mean you're still on your festival we're gonna tour. destroy the festival of course of we're course we have plenty it. of time but it wouldn't be wouldn't it tomorrow be if we is not even necessary <laughs> call ever call everybody off cancel everybody tomorrow there will be no festival tomorrow. Uh, we'll hold you to that. <laughs> Thank you very much.